I have quite the adventure going on today. I'm actually migrating a lot of my files onto a hard drive because I am going desktop-less. Basically what I'm gonna to plan to do is use just a laptop over here. And what's gonna help me facilitate that is a dock like this. So we can see here, I have you know other hard drive storage docks, that kind of thing, whatever it is what it is. Um, I need something like this that I can plop this thing in and get it out of the way. Uh, I don't need you know necessarily just like a big massive dock or anything like that. Mini Soap Room reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review this, which was timely. I've reviewed their stuff before in the past. So this is gonna be good for Mac or Windows. Doesn't matter if it's either or. You can see here, this is actually really cool. It's got a lot of ports on it, HDMI out. Uh, it's got you know SSD port in the actual device in the bottom. Uh, you get USB-C, USB-A's, more USB-C, Ethernet, blah, 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 SD cards. So it's a full dock, just like exactly what you want out of it. Uh, I've decided to do this realistically. I'm not gonna clean up my desk and make it all pretty. You know, this is real world kind of situation here. So let's see what we got here. So we get our uh, cord here, perfect. Plug that in, you'll be good to go there. Uh, what's this wheel for? I don't know what this does. That release, oh, that's for the uh, distance there. Power deliver USB-C, so it should be able to charge this laptop over here. HDMI out, so I should be able to display on my screen there. Ethernet, so I should be able to plug in Ethernet, which I do actually have an Ethernet cable. Two USB-A, so I can have more ports. This thing over here, uh, framework, you can kind of customize it, but it doesn't have a lot of ports. TF card, so micro SD card, perfect, because when I use my camera, my DJI camera, I use micro SD card. Full size SD, which isn't as relevant for me, but people will use them. And two more USB-A, so lots of ports actually, to be honest. Uh, you get your kind of dock here, so it's got rubber on both sides. You can see that there, so you can actually slide your thing right into it. All right, very good. Put your dock in there, get the distance that you want. You can tighten it permanently if you want to leave it in there permanently, I guess, but for me, I'll probably just set it to a point where it's like comfortable and then just kind of leave it like that type thing. Well, so I don't know exactly how thick it is, but that should be about right. Uh, that's good, all metal chassis. Everything's metal on it, rubber feet. So, I mean, these guys make high quality stuff, right? So I have an NVMe here, it's a four terabyte. I suppose it should support four terabytes. I don't see why not. Uh, let's get our little thermally guy out of here. So it comes with a pad, which is good. We're gonna need that to get the temperature of this because this is passively cooled. So uh, this whole thing is metal. So as long as it's touching that, it'll basically the heat will come out, go into this metal and spread throughout the thing. Yeah, it's very easy. Science at all. That goes on there. This thing can run without power. So if you just plug it in directly here uh, into your device, you're gonna be fine. Like you're gonna get power off of the device. The device will power this. But I want this thing itself to charge my laptop. So uh, what you do, take a USB-C, plug that into the back here, power delivery. So now I'm gonna get USB-C power from the wall. And when I plug this into the uh, laptop or your MacBook, whichever you use, it will power it. So we go like that there. There we go, immediately you got power, right? The NVMe already showed up right away. Okay, so let's close that. And because I have it in the mode where it's not going to sleep, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take advantage of these over here. Um, we have the one SATA plugged in over there. I'm not sure how fast it'll go, um, but we'll test that in a moment. But I am going to then use the USB-A here to plug in a keyboard dongle thingy. Okay, keyboard has been dongled. Let's see here. In theory, that should work right away. This yes, does. Turn my little framework here into a desktop computer very easily. Again, this could be a Mac. You could do it with a gaming laptop. It looks like it's fairly thick there. Um, definitely more room here than the framework's gonna take up. If you had a MacBook, MacBook Pro 16 inch, they're thicker. So, you know, you want something like that, but that's good. So we're doing all right so far. Let's um, do some tests here. So first things first, I mean, obviously the screen works. Okay, so we're hooked up here. Uh, I don't even know what, that's the NVMe inside. So let's test that to start here. I expect it to be, I don't know, 10 gigabit per second speed. So I don't know, 800 megabytes a second or something or above, um, technically even 600. It depends how fast the interface is inside the actual dock. Faster than you're gonna get slightly out of a SATA SSD. Um, again, you're not gonna wanna put like a high-end Gen 4 in here. This is a Gen 3 drive in here. Um, it only goes up to like 3000 megabytes a second anyways. And you know, this isn't a USB 4 enclosure, so. 
So the SATA drive, I think is that. Man, there's so many here. Yeah, that's that there. So local disk E, that's the SATA drive that's plugged into the back here. If you can see it poking out the corner over here, little SATA hard drive, little SATA SSD back there. Probably around the same speeds, maybe a little slower on this one, like 400, I'd guess, out of this one here. Yeah, 400, basically. So, I mean, this is a benchmark test. This is not testing the SSD, so there's no point running through the whole test. We know, once it, it we know the bandwidth it's achieving, it'll be fine. So, you know, the back SSD USB-A ports are, uh, they're gonna be five gigabit or so. So you're gonna get about 500 megabytes a second. Uh, that's probably as fast as this actual enclosure can go. You might get slightly more if you have an enclosure that's a little bit faster than this. This is just like a generic whatever. Okay, now we're gonna plug in my mini Soparu USB 4 hub, which is now plugged in into the USB-C here. Uh, it's a USB 4 dock, the mini Soparu, like the little one. So it sh it'll go faster than this can do. Like it's, this thing can't, does it, like the actual stand here doesn't go that fast. So that's pretty standard. Uh, it's a five gigabit per second port on the front there. So that's good. This is not exactly rocket science. It's just doing what it's supposed to do, basically. Um, this review is basically going to be, you know, is the thing good quality? Yes, it is. And do the ports work as they're supposed to? Yeah, there you go. So, and if the ports work as they're supposed to and the thing's good quality, you're pretty much cooking. So uh, let's check the SD card. I think it's that one. There's so many cards here. Uh, yeah, F. So this thing's, I don't know how fast this is gonna go. 50 to 100 megabytes a second is my guess on this one here. Let's see. SD cards don't go remotely as fast as, obviously, NVMe enclosures. Standard, yeah, trans standard for an SD card, micro SD card, trans fast. Okay, and that's that. I mean, this is not rocket science. This is speed. I have gigabit Ethernet, 1,000 megabytes a second Ethernet, and the mini Soparu dock. Surprise, surprise, is maxing my internet. Right, 1,000 megabytes a second. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. So it's an all-metal design metal chassis all the way around, adjustable kind of width there, depending on how big your laptop is. This is a framework about the size of a MacBook 13 inch, uh, MacBook Pro or so. If you have a 13 inch area, you can make it tighter. If you have a 16 inch, you can make it wider. If you use other Windows machines, you can do that, whatever. Um, this is not only for Mac, obviously. HDMI 60, 4K 60 works. This is a 4K 60 screen, therefore it works. Micro SD card works exactly as anticipated. Uh, I'm sure that one's fine. These two here, uh, five gigabit second, six gigabit per second, turn it around there. And uh, I mean, everything just works exactly as anticipated on the back too, right? Power in, power delivery, it's powering my laptop. It's good. This thing's powering it, no problem. Uh, HDMI works exactly as anticipated, 4K 60. Ethernet is very fast. This supplies at least gigabit Ethernet. I don't know if it goes faster, maybe. I don't have faster internet. I pay for gigabit Ethernet, which is as fast as I can afford. Uh, that gives you nice speeds there, around five megabytes a second. Um, so you're gonna get about 450 to 500 megabytes a second out of that. It's probably the same with that too, that I'm just using it as a dongle. So this thing's perfect, right? If you wanna go desktop less, which is what I'm doing here, that's why this my desk is messy. Windows machine that's small and you wanna go desktop less. Desktop less meaning you, know, you don't have a gaming desktop or any type of desktop computer. You just have you know a monitor here and then you get yourself a laptop and basically this dock, which is what I'm gonna be using, you're pretty much cooking, right? Like you don't need all kinds of other stuff. You can take your laptop with you throughout the day, come home, you know, you plug this in here and you basically cook and you have your screen ready to go. You have all your storage ready to go. Uh, you know, you do your filming, put your SD card in there, you're good to go. So, um, thank you for choosing Mini Soparu. Well, you know what, Mini Soparu? Thank you for choosing me. That's the end of the video.